Did you know that you can sort your data in Excel by color or even by icon? Did you know that there is a way to unsort your data? Well, in this lesson, we're going to learn everything about sorting and unsorting your data. And for this, I have a data set, which is a population in some of the cities uh, in India. And we're going to start. So first thing you could do, let's say that I want to sort this by population and I want it from smallest to largest. So I can come here anywhere. I right click, I go to sort, and then I can say sort smallest to largest. So here you go. And Excel is smart enough to understand that this data belongs to this data set. So if you click here anywhere inside and you do control A, Excel shows you what is the data set that it is taking into account when you are doing the sort. You could also sort by alphabetical order. So for example, I can come here, I can right click and I do sort and I can say sort A to Z. And again, Excel is also smart to not take this into account because this is my header. Now, assume that I put some data here. The problem is, if I use the other methodology, Excel will take this into my data set. So for example, I come here, I do Ctrl A, you can see that this column is taken into account. If I do, for example, right click, sort, largest to smallest, you can see that those ones have moved to the bottom. And this is not what I want. So how do I fix this? So let's go back. We select our headers. Then we do Control Shift Arrow Down to select all our data. And you can go to Data. Under Data, you have Sort. You click to Sort. And you have something called Custom Sorting. So in Custom Sorting, you can say, OK, I want the population, for example, from smallest to largest. And you can see that this R's that I've added at the bottom, they stayed at the bottom, right? Now to access this from here, you can just right click and do sort, and then you have custom sort and you access the same menu. You can also sort using multiple levels. So once I have this menu on, let's just reselect our data without this R's. And then I go here, I do sort. I have here one level, which is population, but assume that I want to sort it by level first. So I can say add level. I get this. I select level. Obviously this is ticked. My data has header. This is how Excel knows that this is the header. I can say, okay, A to Z. Let's assume that I want the level to be the first thing to sort by. So I can just click on it, click on this arrow. It will go on top. So first I have level, let's add another one here. Let's say I want to know the state and then I want it from A to Z. And lastly, I want the population from largest to smallest. So now you can see that I have first my levels, then I have my state, and then I have the population as a third parameter. The next cool trick I'm going to show you is sorting by your own custom list. So for example, here I have level one till if you go down, you have level two, three, and four, right? Assume I want to sort, but I want to have level two first, level three, four, and then one at the end. How can I do this? So let's select the data. Let's click on sort. And here I can do, instead of A to Z, I can go to custom list. Here you have several lists that you can choose from and you can create your own. So I'm gonna create one. I'm just going to type the values, level 1, level 2, level 3, and level 4. Now you will select which one you want first. So let's assume that I want 2, 3, and 4, then I want 1. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to paste this here, and then I click on Add. So you can see I have a new list now. If I say OK, you can see that level 2 is first. If I go down, level 3 then four, and then one. After that, it will take the other parameters into account because I put this as my first sorting parameter. Then you have this, and finally you have the population. The other thing I'm gonna show you is color sorting. So let's color this. 
let's assume I want this in blue, this in blue. For some reason, we have to highlight some data and this in orange. So I will select my data. I can also select all the columns and I'll go to data, sort, and here, let's remove all the levels. So to delete all the levels, you just click here, then you add. So I'm gonna say population, and then I'm gonna go to sort on, you have cell color. And as you can see here, we get a cell color. So we can click here and you get the two colors. Excel recognizes the color. So I'm gonna put the blue first, I'm gonna add a level, I'm gonna do population, I'm going to do cell color, then I put this, it goes on top, and then let's say I want to add a level, I'm going to say I want to have, for example, level A to Z. You click, you get first the colored ones, and then you start getting level 1, level 2, etc. And this is how it works. We can even do this with icons. So let's assume that I select this, and I'm going to use conditional formatting. If you're not very familiar with conditional formatting, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can learn this lesson. But for now, we go to Home, Conditional Formatting. I'm going to put something quick, so Icon Sets. I'm going to select those Icon Sets automatically. And if you go up, you will see that I have some green, red, and yellow icons. So if I select my data and I do data, sort, I will remove this, delete level, delete level, we add a level, we can move it up, and we will say, I want population, I want to have conditional formatting icon, I want the green icon on top, and then I add another level, population, conditional formatting icon, I want the yellow, and then the red will come obviously automatically. So we say, okay, you can see that you get the green first, the yellow, and then the red ones. The final trick I'm gonna show you is how to unsort your data. So now we have done a lot of sorting. The problem is if I want to have my original data set, I cannot do it in Excel like this. But what I can do is this trick. So I'm gonna go to another sheet where I have similar data. What I have added here is a number. So I've put one, two, three, four, five till the bottom. I incremented it by one for every data. Now let's assume that I select my data, I right click and I do sort. I'm gonna do custom sort and I'm gonna put, for example, I want to sort by city and I did some sorting. Now, if I want to bring this back, the only thing I need to do is click here Instead of city, I will do by number, I do smallest to largest, and I get back the data the way it was.